this is Janice. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a smoothie recipe that I just kind of came up in my head. Nothing, you know, I didn't follow any particular recipe. But this is one of my favorite ways to do it. So I'm going to share this with you. And if you're interested and you enjoy smoothies, just keep watching. on a health kick trying to get healthy and lose a little weight and this is kind of like a treat for me every so often I make this and I just use whatever's on hand in my fridge all right what I do is I basically just look in my fridge and see what fruits I have and also I add fruits that's in my freezer that I may have stored and I just kind of wing it first thing I do is I take a ripe banana I have three here. I just take a while. I like them good and ripe. It helps the sweetness of my smoothie, plus it makes it creamy. I just really, I use this banana in every smoothie. You don't have to. You can use whatever fruit you like. I just put it in here. This is my um, KitchenAid blender. I did do a review of it um, a few years back when I first got it. And I've enjoyed it ever since. Okay, that's one banana. And then I had some blueberries in my freezer, so I went and grabbed some of those. Those are good antioxidants. And I love mango, love mango. And I picked up some mango spears, so I'm gonna put a couple of those in there. I just try to find the ripe ones. <clears throat> Here's a nice ripe one. Eh, semi ripe. See here. Um, I'm gonna grab two. It never fails when I buy mangoes, only a couple are ripe, so I have to just make smoothies out of them. And this is fresh pineapple. I got some of those at the store. Put a couple of those in there, or as many as you like. I'll put three, being they're kind of small. Hmm, right. mm, good. I also have strawberries. I like putting strawberries in it if I have them on hand. I, I buy strawberries all the time and sometimes I forget to use them, so this is a good way for me to use them up. I just put a bunch in there. And then I add a plant-based uh, milk. You don't you can put any kind of milk in there you like. But I got almond milk. And this is the unsweetened. Usually I don't buy the unsweetened, I buy the original, but um I received this free, so I'm gonna use it. It's okay. It, my freezer, my refrigerator must be really cold because it's half frozen. So we're gonna pop that in there, and you can add ice to this if you want. I usually don't, um, but if you like yours nice and thick, you can. I just kind of eyeball it, and then. I got some chia seeds. I like putting in about a tablespoon of that. About. They do expand, so. But serving size of chia seeds like two tablespoons, but I just put one. You can do what you like. This is just uh, how I do it. And then I just use what's in my cupboard. I believe that's all I have in my cupboard. Sometimes I add a little splash of fruit juice. But I think I'm just going to do this today. And I'm going to put on my color. And start up my blender. Oh, you know what I forgot? I wanted to put some spinach in there. Okay, let me go grab it out of the freezer. I forgot it. That's 
for my greens. It's a beautiful purple. It's going to change. <laughs> it's not right or wrong. I just added in. So you can either put spinach or kale. I tend to like spinach the best, but I like them both. I'm just gonna dump it in here. That's to get my greens in because greens are very healthy for you. As you all know. Now we gotta redo that. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. on the muted side but it doesn't matter the color don't bother me sometimes I put a lot of green and it turns green which is fine see mine's fairly thin that's just how I like it you can make it thicker by using less milk or adding ice and I'm gonna put it in my handy dandy cup here that I got from Dollar Tree I bought it for five dollars and it looks like those very expensive fifty dollar Stanley cups and then what I did is I put on a rub on decal. Decal says, it's cool to be kind today. I thought that was really nice. So this is not bad for five bucks and then $1.25 for the sticker. So here you have it. Let me see. Okay, get on there. Well, let me turn this because I need straw on that side. Yeah. <laughs> Yum, that's really good. And the more you let this set, the chia seeds will expand. But it doesn't matter. You can drink it right away and let it set for a few minutes, whatever. But yeah, so that's just an easy little um, recipe that I kind of just wing whenever I have the notion to have a smoothie. It's very delicious and healthy. Alright, everyone. Thank you for watching this video. And if you like this video, please give it a like. Um, comment what do you think um, you like smoothies you have a special recipe you'd like to share and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, yeah we'll see you in my next video bye